friends, wizards, witches, and ghouls. That's right, we are heading straight back to Halloween. Let's time travel a little bit because I had a very exciting delivery on my doorstep just after Halloween, actually, which was a shame because then I had to start my advent calendar series. So we're going back and I'm very excited because this is the Aulu crate by the Wizarding Trunk and I do believe it is their Halloween edition. And honestly, I love Halloween all year round. So I'm very excited, cannot wait to show you the box and just in case you didn't know we are sponsored by the wizarding trunk so head on over to their website the link will be in the description down below you can go check out their subscriptions and all of the magical things that they do so i also have a discount code if you like what you see in this video which is magical family that's right this is a discount code just for you guys so if you want to know what is inside this spooky wizarding trunk then keep on watching and hey Hey, if you're brand new here, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because I'm real excited. And just to let you guys know, this box and everything in the video are not Wizarding World official products, but I'm very excited. Look how big it is. Look, there's ghosties on it. <laughs> Little ghosties. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the box design. So this is the top. It says the wizarding trunk presents the owlery and it says something wicked this way comes. We've got some little ghosties. This is the kind of front end and it says it's got a little pumpkin with its mouth open which is quite cute a little locked chest some more ghosties it says fragile magical delivery with some more pumpkins and spider webs we've got the socials for the wizarding trunk if you want to go follow them okay let's dive straight on in i'm ready to open i do not know what's gonna be in here okay this is your sneak peek of what is inside. So we do have some wearables. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's start with this. I gotta say, <laughs> is soft touch. I love that kind of soft touch, rubbery feeling card. It's there's something very satisfying about it. This is a Salem Sisters ticket, and it says live at the Great Hall, All Hallows Eve tour. This is very cool. What else? It's a general admission, and that cost uh, like six six galleons. Uh, the event date is the 31st of October 1992. And there we have it. It's purple one side and kind of like this orangey cream on the other. It feels really good. This is like a nice keepsake. Like you can pretend that you went to see Salem Sisters Live. That's very cool. Nice little start. Let's move on to the wearable because that was also on the top. I want to know what the design is. Right, I'm going to show you guys first. <gasps> <sighs> okay, it's looking to me like a tour t-shirt. Okay, so we've got the Salem Sisters and it says All Hallows Eve Tour and we've got kind of, oh that's cool, they've kind of made a broom guitar. <laughs> and then on the back it says the Salem Sisters and then it's got all of their tour dates. Oh my god, there's some Birmingham tour dates, Sheffield as well. Very cool. I'm guessing that this is their take on the Weird Sisters. I kind of really dig the name the Salem Sisters. Really like that. The colour's nice. It's a nice wearable colour which is like this dark grey with green. It's kind of giving me Slytherin vibes a little bit but I'm not mad. But yeah, it's a nice little tea that might confuse the muggles. It might not necessarily look that magical but but us witches and wizards will know. Right, this is intriguing me a lot. So it says Bloodsuckers. Uh, this is Ballywicks, which is their take on Honeydukes. Hang on, are these gonna be actual sweets? If so, that's very exciting. I love the box design. I think that's really cool. We've got a bat on there. We've got some little vampire teeth. Oh, oh no way! <laughs> They're little lollipops. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't know what flavour that they're going to be. Maybe it'll tell us on the cheat sheet. But they've not given us just one. They've given us three. So these are the blood suckers, like lollipops. That's really cool. That's very, very cool indeed. Should I try one? I am. I'm going to try one. I'm going to take one for the team. 
They're nice. I couldn't tell you what flavour that was. It's either just a sugary lollipop or it's got maybe got a hint of cherry flavour. But either way, I do like those. I will be finishing that straight afterwards. Okay, we have got another one of the Wizarding Trunk Keys that they have been doing. Okay, so this is the key. It's the same on both sides. It's giving Azkaban. <laughs> it's giving Wizarding Prison. Okay, um, so we've got I'm assuming what is meant to be a Dementor on the top, which is quite creepy. Um, we've got what maybe looks like Azkaban Prison in there. And we've got some runes down here as well. It's very chunky. So I'll add that to my key collection, but let me know what you guys think of this key. Okay, let's have a look in here then, because we have got some mystery boxes. We've got this mystery box here. Let's start with this, okay. It's quite light as well. Oh, it's in polystyrene, which usually means it's pretty bespoke and fragile. <gasps> okay, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Let me open the first little bit and see if you can guess what it is. Okay, so this is the first piece. I can't believe they've made this for a subscription box. And then I'm gonna take the lid off here. Okay, I'll unwrap it, I'll unwrap it. That's so cool. Okay, so this is a small replica statue from the Riddle Grave, and that's so cool. Um, it's really creepy, but it's great for Halloween. And I could definitely imagine myself getting this out next Halloween as like a little display piece. You know what, props, because I have never seen this in a subscription box or even attempted in a subscription box, I don't think. Uh, but this is great. Is it gonna make it to the shelves? Probably not, it's a bit too dark artsy for um, <laughs> my liking, but it will definitely come out at Halloween. And like, it's, it's quite a good size as well. Oh my God, look, the back of it's gorgeous, like the detail on the wings is lovely that's so cool but yeah it, it's pretty big <laughs> that's a really cool replica I love the paintwork on it actually I think that's done really nicely like it's it looks aged it's really cool it looks like stone right let's see what surprises are left in the remaining mystery box with nothing on it there there are some items still left in the box as well I think they might be artwork and such but I'm very intrigued. <laughs> very cool. Okay, so the Wizarding Trunk have actually, wow. The Wizarding Trunk have actually come out with a Death Eater mask before, but it wasn't wearable. This one is, I mean, that is going to be next year's Halloween costume, isn't it? Like, how cool is that? That is a good fit as well. It's quite heavy. I will say it, it's, it's a pretty heavy thing to wear on your mask with a piece of elastic, but I think it will work and that's so cool. I love the kind of like bone structure of it. I love that your nose fits through and imagine that with like a cloak. Yes, I'm digging that. That's a very cool piece, Wizarding Trunk. I really like it, that's awesome. Might it be my favorite? Who knows? Let's get to the end of this box. Okay, oh, there's still so many things, more than I thought. Right, let's take a look at some of their pins in this box. And the first one is <laughs> a really great pin idea, actually. This is the door to the Gryffindor common room and it's meant to be where the the fat lady is, but obviously it's been damaged and um, you can see the kind of scratch marks on the painting. That's so cool. Like, what a great idea, like a fantastic pin. That's brilliant. That's probably one of my favorite pins that the Wizarding Trunk have come out with in a very long time. It is double clasped, which is great. Oh, I really need to update my pin boards. And then the last one in here, ooh, this is a little metal pin that says um, shopkeeper for B&B, &B, which is Borgen and Burks. And it says London. So you can pretend that you work for Borgen and Burks with that little pin. This is singular clasped. I like that. That's very cool. I like the design of it. I like that it's one of those 3D pins. I like the metal finish. That's really cool. Another good pin. This has my attention. This says that it's a little pot of troll bogies and it does actually look like it's a pot of troll bogies. So what is this? This is gonna be the alchemy for the skin product. And it says that it's aloe vera, vitamin E, vanilla hydrosol, 
sweet orange essential oils. I do like myself some um, essential orange oils. Okay, so I really like the design of the label. I don't know what this is. It just says troll bogies. It doesn't actually say what the product is. Let's have a look. It does, it does just look like green troll snot. Let's have a smell. There is orange in there. I give that like maybe a six or seven scent out of 10. It's pretty good. I don't know what it's meant to be. Oh, it, I don't know how you're meant to use this product because it kind of repels. Oh no, there we have it. It's this kind of, is it meant to be a moisturizer maybe? or a sooth, I don't know, I don't know. I like the design. I think this is something that's more likely to sit on a potion shelf than for me to actually use it. But I wanna read on the cheat sheet about what this product is. But I like the idea and the concept behind it. I think it's really cool. Let's move on then to this mystery box, which has to be one of their potions which I can hear, there's definitely liquid in here. Let's open it on up. It's very safely packaged. Oh, this is a dark one, wizarding trunk. This is um, a v <laughs> Avada essence. So it's like the essence from the Avada Kedavra spell. I love the label, the label's really nice. Oh, it's got, sorry, that really freaked me out. I thought there was like a spider in there or something. It's this kind of, um, it's hard to see, especially since I've shaken it because there's bubbles, but there is a piece of foliage in there, some sort of plant. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well, but there is some sort of plant stem in there. We've got this kind of like black bound and wax seal top. I think it's a very nice looking potion slash ingredient, which will look good on the potion shelf, but I want to read more about it. I need more info. Let's carry on. Oh, we've got another book cover. I will say, my personal opinion, you guys might think differently. I, I'm a little tired of the book covers now. I think we've been getting them in the wisdom trunk for a very, very long time. We've had them in other subscription box prior to that as well. And I'm just kind of like, I want something new. I want a different idea. I want something fresh, but let's take a look anyway. Here is a, oh. <gasps> oh my God. Hang on, the book cover, we'll come back to that. This was in the book cover. Oh, it's a hymn sheet. <gasps> Wizarding trunk, this is stunning. It says something wicked this way comes and it is the um, the song sheet, the hymn sheet. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, cauldron bubble. Oh my God, something wicked this way comes. And it's really gorgeous. Like look at that foiling on it. And even the, all of the notes are foiled as well. That is something that I would actually like to frame from a subscription box, which is rare. I wasn't expecting that. See, I'd like to see more things like this. That is gorgeous. And fun fact, at the Warner Brothers Studio Toy London, there is a hymn sheet of the Hogwarts hymn and it's in Dumbledore's drawer in his office. You can't see it, but I've been shown it before. But the fact that there are things in drawers that you can't necessarily see blows my mind. But yeah, this reminds me of that a little bit. Very nice indeed, very, very nice. Okay, let's go back to the book cover then. So this says that it's magic most evil so this is the most evil magic i assume it's quite a dark book we've got that a lot of silver foiling it's very shiny i quite like this marble effect but i'm quite happy with the ones that are already on my books i don't want to keep changing them but is it a nice design sure um have i seen better book designs thus far yes i have it doesn't make me squee with joy but i think that's just me i've seen so many book covers now it doesn't take away from the um effort and design work that has gone into this it's pretty beautiful but yeah i'm just <sighs> there's only so many like thrills you can have over a book cover that's all let me know what you think of course that could just be me but do you want to see something new let's move on because i can see some other things bits and pieces in here which are exciting me we've got 
the Enchanter magazine. This is their take on the Quibbler. And this is a beautiful design. I love the colour. I love all the pumpkins. Enchanted Jack-O-Lanterns attack. And yeah, this is like a, a really nice magical prop and it does make you feel like oh this is like a magazine for wizards and witches i'm gonna give it a little read i do like these i do like these quite nice for a good flat lay so maybe i'll use this one next year do like that okay we have got oh this is cool we have got an invitation to the 50th oh sorry 500th my bad death day party and it says with music by a ghostly musical saw orchestra it's one-sided but that's it, it's another really cool little prop for Halloween. I really like that. I think that's really cool. I like that they've made the little menu as well. I think that's really cool. What do you guys see? I also really like the custom edging of this kind of invitation. It's not just um, an A5 sheet. It's actually custom, which is really, really nice. Do like that. Do like it. Okay, we've got another page from A to Z of Magical Creatures, and we're on T, so this is for Troll. And then on the other side, oh, we've got a Thunderbird. That is actually the house that I would be in at Ilvermorny. Another page, definitely going to go straight into my collection. And then, I do believe we've got ourselves to the cheat sheet. I'm gonna quickly read through this cheat sheet to read about all of the things that we got and then I'm gonna show you the whole haul from this box. Okay, so number one was the Magic Most Evil book cover. It says contains all manner of evil and dark magic and it fits the new screenplay for the Magical Beasts book. So the Secrets of Dumbledore book, I'm guessing. And then we got the Grave Angel, which was very cool. It says, protects the grave of the father. And it says, we shipped the fragile scythe. Scythe? Skith? Scythe? Never know how to pronounce that. Which detached in the polyfoam, safe for travel. Yes, so I do have that, which is here. Then we had the Dark Mark Follower. Sorry, the Dark Follower Skull Mask which we have here, which I think is very, very cool. We also had the copy of The Enchanter, and it says The Enchanter is designed by Wizardry Workshop and written by a creative team of wizards and witches. Cannot wait to give that a read later on. We had the slashed portrait pin, and it says this portrait was vandalized on All Hallows Eve. Then we had the troll bogies, great for sunburns and dry patch skin. Okay, well, I can see that being quite soothing actually for sunburns. Unfortunately, we have just gone into autumn winter over here, so wouldn't be able to use that till next summer, but I quite liked the idea behind that one. Then we had the Avada Essence, which is here. It says the first in the Vile Incantum's new Unforgivable Three Potions line. Okay, so we're gonna get the other two Unforgivable Potions, apparently. It says, can you think of someone this may have been used on on All Hallows Eve? Very cool, I'm excited to see the other three. Are they all going to be green? I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, then we had the prison key, which I've got here, and it says used to unlock the magical prison gates. I mean, not sure I'd want to be unlocking the prison gates. Then we had the death day party invitation. It says you're invited to the death day party. Okay, and then we have the shopkeeper's pin, which is here. It says worn by the shopkeeper of the creepiest shop in the creepiest alley. We then had the creature page for Troll and Thunderbird, a torn page from the Magical Creatures A to Z. Then we have Something Wicked This Way Comes Sheet Music, and it says composed by Queen Mab and Wizardry Workshop, rolled up with the book cover. If you're a musician, play this song and tag us. Oh my God, it's the actual musical notes as well. That's very fun. We then had the Blood Suckers Lollipops. It says these suckers are so good, they are even vampire approved. Doesn't tell me what flavour they are though. I feel like I want more information on these cheat sheets. I want a little bit more. Tell me what the flavour is, wizarding trunk. I'm, it's gonna really bug me that I don't know and I can't tell. Uh, then we had the Salem Sisters tour t-shirt, which is here. It says purchased at their All Hallows Eve Great Hall concert. And um, the only thing that isn't listed on here, I believe, is the the ticket. I think that's a little extra 
that they have thrown in. So that's nice. Okay, let's take a look at everything from this box and talk about my favorites. Okay, so this is the haul from the Halloween Wizarding Trunk Owlery Crate. And I gotta say, I love this theme. I think they've come out with some really creative things. What are the things that stood out the most to me? Honestly, it's probably this hymn sheet. I really liked, I liked quite a lot of the paper items this time actually, because the thought and design into them. I really liked the Death Day party invitation. I loved the hymn sheet. I really liked this pin which was the slashed portrait of the fat lady and obviously I loved this as well I think that's really cool I really like the wearable mask because it's practical and am I gonna wear it maybe do some photos with it in the future maybe I am overall I think it was a really good box. I loved the Enchanter as well. Maybe my least favourite is probably the book cover just because I have so many. I'm kind of just a little tired of those but I'm sure it might just be a personal preference so sound off down below. What are your thoughts on that? Do we want to keep seeing those? Overall I think it was a really strong box. I think this is perfect for any spooky Halloween lover or the kind of dark artsy kind of vibe. I liked the mixture of products as well. Well. So overall, this box was a hit for me and I think it was really good and well curated and well designed. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. What were your favourite items from this crate? Go check out the Wizarding Trunk. I will leave their information down below and I will see you guys in my next video. <sighs> Gotta go creeping around in this mask. <laughs> in fact, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this lollipop because I need to know the flavour. It's giving mystery.